Taskmaster. No! Oh my god, it's another Bosch! <laughs> Welcome to Taskmaster, I'm not the Taskmaster, I'm Adam from FWCI, this is Taskmaster Season 12, Episode 5, Croissants is Croissants. Now if that's not a Guz Khan quote right there, I don't know what is, and I'm a little bit more familiar with Guz Khan because I watched his appearance on Unforgivable with the MVP herself, Mel Gedroich, and I found it very entertaining. I then watched Alan Davies' anecdotes on QI, which was again, very funny. I watched... Uh, Victoria Corrin Mitchell on Wilty. Oh my god, that bookmark story was absolutely insane. And I even watched some Morgana um, clip, little, little tiny little miniature clips from the Morgana show. But I did a whole bunch of them and that's going to go up on the channel as well. So I feel way more familiar with this cast now and I'm even more excited to watch all of these. So I don't know, I might try and make it a point by the mid-season to try and indulge in something from the cast. I couldn't think of what to do for Desiree. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to react to from Desiree Birch. But Victoria firmly has my attention now, as does Guz Khan. And I mean, I'm just really excited for this. Now, uh, if you want a full length version of this reaction, go to patreon.com slash FWCI. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube as well, because there's a lot of Taskmaster coming up. Champion of Champions is coming up pretty soon. Uh, Taskmaster Australia season three, plus heaps of other stuff on the channel as well so make sure you join in on the fun but let's jump into this this is taskmaster season 12 episode 5 croissants is croissants today is our 100th episode 100 episodes whoa tonight's all about alex i know he gets nervous probably. come on greg pull the other one i look like a big human shrew <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on with the 100th show. <laughs> Time we're going to have a bit of banter now, aren't we? Yeah. Well, I've done a visual representation of the 100 episodes. Okay. 100 yellow squares. The pink ones are my favourite episodes. Uh, they're okay. the three times you've praised me. That's in the series. <laughs> if I bend my middle finger on my left hand, it makes quite a loud noise. Oh, OK. And we're off. <laughs> Christ, Alex. I'm starting to find your relationship quite erotic. And that... <laughs> okay. With your finger and... And that's the thing that ruined it. <laughs> so we, now we know what um, Victoria is into. Fittingly, the category is the most elegant thing, beginning with G. Oh. <gasps> Absolute fucking nightmare, pain in the ass. Hated this prize task. Could not think of a goddamn thing for it. Oh, I'm set for the next one. Don't you worry. Alan Davies will be getting his gift. But I, I thought so many different things. I had so many different ideas. I could not come up with something that I was happy with. So the most elegant thing starting with G is this glass of water. It is simple. I think I've even had a glass of water in a previous prize task. But I'm going with the glass of water. Simple, elegant, delicious. Look at it. Rotating in all of its glory. I see you there. Water is an element that rhymes with elegant. Elegant elephant would be an experiment. Elegant! Elegant! Water is elegant! Ah, are we doing this? Are we doing this? Was that elegant? <laughs> oh my god, I should have had like my pinky up. Missed opportunity. Let's go. This thing's really elegant. Have a look at this. All right, right. Here it is. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, that is fucking awesome. You're looking mad elegant, cuz. Yeah? <laughs> Who said that? Me to myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I agree with it. Why do you keep bringing prizes in that are pictures of you? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. That I get given this stuff, yeah? Yeah. And then I see it matches the task. Fair call, fair call. I feel like I should score him down because he keeps celebrating himself. <laughs> When we used to make the television program QI, Ooh. I know what that is. They gave me a dressing gown. Okay, he's got an elegant gown from QI. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not bad. Yeah. But, yeah. See, the, it says AD. That's me. 
Yes, <laughs> yes. go on. Inexpensive, but quite stylish. It's a tatty dressing gown. <laughs> it's a tatty dressing gown. Yeah, it is a bit tacky and tatty. Can yes. you beat a moth-eaten dressing gown? Yeah, it smells I can. of fart. <laughs> <laughs> And laundered, freshly laundered. Uh, what I brought in is a gardenia. Um, uh, okay. Yes, gardenia is one of my favorite. All right. Why, it's iconic, Why not? Incredible. But you said elegant. I didn't bring in a farty dressing gown. It's I brought in. <laughs> well, good point. She's not getting last. And it's glass. You get two G's for your money, and it means a lot to me. I mean, okay. I'm already. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What the fuck is that thing? Put some ballet shoes on it. It's got a stunted <laughs> neck. Yeah, it's that. It's a horse. Yeah. <laughs> Victoria, can you beat the worst thing I've ever seen? <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Let's go. Homemade elegance. Here we go. Good luck, Victoria. Okay, what is this toy you made? That's not elegant. What are you talking about? But it came out so elegant, it is, in fact, greedy esquire. It's a one-eyed <laughs> testicle. What? <laughs> Victoria, listen. <laughs> That's absolutely terrible. But even you can't get your way out of this. <laughs> Yeah, that's one point for you. Oh, you know what? This has been a bad, bad prize task. Oh, my God. I'm glad I'm not the only one who... F I brought in a glass of water. I would have got fucking kicked off the show. For Mr. Greedy Esquire, I have a huge amount of affection for the short-necked ballet giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the man's an egomaniac, but yeah. he's an elegant one. Yeah. Congratulations, Gus. Five points. Five points for Gus, yeah. Absolutely deserved. Where's the farty robe going to go, though? I'm going to give four points to Alan. And, and I've got to be honest with you all, I don't feel great about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, we've got cake and this pate. <laughs> oh, this is all the different music throughout the whole... I was like, what is this? This track we got, this is a banger. Bravo, horn section. Kind of insanity will this throw me into. <laughs> what is it? What... <laughs> Sit on a cake. Sit on a cake? Go on. Is this Fast Alex Horn's wins. task? Fastest wins. Fastest wins. Five bonus points for the best cake. Holy shit. So, all right, where do we get the cake? <laughs> well, there's always a cake in the Taskmaster premises. Is there? Oh, all right, that's the news to me. On the Taskmaster premises somewhere. Thanks, buddy. Is there a cake in here? So wait, this is really a find the cake task, isn't it? But this is about time. So there's no point baking a cake from scratch. Well, I'm just gonna make one. Victoria's baking a cake, isn't she? Ah, I'm with a pre-existing base. Yeah, I reckon that's tons. Wow, okay, they're all getting in. All right. Well, there's five bonus points for the best cake. Ooh. Oh, okay. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Oh, yeah, that's not good. 42. These can represent the two bit of it. What's going in? <laughs> <laughs> it was meant to be two. My 42nd birthday, bro. <laughs> Happy birthday. Good work, Gus, for blowing out his candles. <laughs> what a really satisfying, bro. You can carry on if you want. Oh, you know what sucks? His cake actually looked pretty good. It's almost too high. Hey, that's using your back into the jam. Morgana loves the jam. Wow. Alright, that's pretty goddamn impressive if I'm being honest. <laughs> that's gonna be nice. <laughs> it seems to be the um the common thought about doing this. <laughs> Fairly certain there's a market for that video. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to say it. Well, that's up to you. A cake is usually a round mass of food that is baked or fried. Croissants is baked, ain't it? Mm, yeah. But also croissants is croissants. Oh my god, it was an Alex! How long did it take you to bake that? I've done about three weeks. <laughs> One hour 45. <laughs> and as she says, so Five bonus points for best cake is pretty interesting, though. Suspicious almost? Just need to find a cake or something that looks like a cake. Can you get one delivered? Eyes on supplies. Where are you going? Going inside to make a cake. Okay. Why did you go? Hang on. <laughs> Why did you go out to the caravan? I have flapjacks with me at all times. Mm. Oh my god, yeah. Flapjack is basically a, a very tiny cake. Flavour cake, do you think this is? It's lemon. 
It's a lemon cake. Look at it. Pancakes, uh, basically the same thing. <laughs> what I've done there? Oh my god, Alan's. What is this shit? That's a cake, isn't it? Everything that's not, you know, meat and vegetables is a cake, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if that's how I'd put it, but if that flapjack is what I think it is, it is. It has cake-like qualities. The rest of us aren't carrying a flapjack with us at all time. Oh, I more fool you. I mean. <laughs> I went for a dinner with you and you said, right, shall we? And then you shaved off both your eyebrows. I would just do the same. <laughs> <laughs> Not a cake is my argument. Ah. Yeah, I agree. Preoccupied with the speed thing. I thought, well, obviously they don't want you to bake a cake. That's ridiculous. And I live, I live a bit of an abnormal life. Yeah, well, yeah, how do you score that? That's a good point. Preoccupied with the speed, you were second slowest. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you shitting me? There's one person left, it's Desiree's turn to try to be the fastest to sit on a cake. Oh, Desiree, what did you do? Why are you at the end? Where are you hiding cakes? I mean, should I, like, I've got to find the cake? Yeah, they said there is one on the property at all times. Oh. <laughs> Hello, governor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is a secret cake room. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is that what she said at the beginning? She's like, you probably made a secret cake room. That's something you guys would do. It's been sad. Oh my god. Yeah, she ate shit as well. <laughs> well done. Well done. This is going to be a bit tricky because that was one spectacular cake that she found. I don't think it was as good as Morgana's. She searched fast, but nowhere near as fast as Victoria's 25 Three. seconds. So five points to Victoria first. Time. Fuck, okay, right. But Morgana's got to get the five bonus points. But I mean, there's no doubt what the most spectacular cake was. <gasps> Morgana Robbins. Yeah, agreed. It must be so much fun, like producing and directing this show, having the same layout every time and figuring out creative places to put the cameras. It just looks like get fun. Get the most balls in the net. Get the most balls in the net. What net? Oh, that net. Can you see a net? I can't see a net. Oh, I've got, there's a net here. You've got a net there? Yeah. Oh, it's a team task. Fuck, I didn't even notice. Everyone must stay on their spots at all times. If anyone other than the task reader touches or handles a ball, you lose five balls from your ball total. What? So I can only touch balls? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Sit for ten, stand for ten. <laughs> Oh, poor Guz. Don't read the next line. Will you just read it again, please? <laughs> smart. Very smart. I'm going to need a simplified explanation of this. Uh, we lose a point per ball of any that land between you two. Okay, right, 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 right. Okay, so it's just throwing it down the thing, but Guz is going to be standing up and down, and if it touches Guz or it touches Desiree, they lose points. Okay, I think I'm with it. Tim. Oh, yeah, yes. you got it. You must sit down. Huh? Ten. Okay, sweet. So this seems like a very easy way to do this. Knives yes. are sharp. Ten. Martin, you're wrecky. I love that. Ten. Well done. Well done. Got it! Fuck yeah. Well done. Except for that one that fell out. What? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Better not fucking matter. As far as I can work out, no rules were broken. It was a well-oiled machine. Mm. Yeah. Are you looking at me like there was a rule broken? No, don't. What the fuck are you talking about? All title and all of them were between the task reader and the middle <gasps> person. Uh, wait, what? Needed to be turned around. Oh, no. The other side. So actually, <laughs> uh, oh, no. Are you kidding me? So you got a score of minus one. Wow. <laughs> wow. So can we say the theory was genius, but the reality is crushing? Oh, that is fucked. Sad I've been on a television. <laughs> well, you look pretty sad when you have to do a modicum of physical exercise. <laughs> nah, man, that is... Well, hang on, what are they... They are, they're right in between them. She needed to have that thing behind her. That is absolutely crushing. I'm so mad at that. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh my God, Alan, what are you doing, man? Did that get through? Yes. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Perfect. Wait. Okay, well, you know what? At least the trio is still going to actually win. Oh, wait. If they touch you, we lose points. Yes. Oh, then don't kick them. Don't kick them, okay? Oh. oh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> he 
He's hit him so many times. Come on, my little pixie. <laughs> One minute, search there. <laughs> my little pixie. <laughs> Alan, Alan, Alan. <sighs> <laughs> we might get a minus score. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you did. Yeah, good work. But I'm worried about the minus points here because yes. I think they might be colossal. <laughs> <laughs> minus five every time you struck me with a ball. I was struck 20 times. Minus five every time you were struck with a ball. 30 in the net, 12 left in the box. You got a score of minus 128. Well, that's human. Well done. Morgana earned that. I'm afraid it's zero points all round. No! Huh? No, 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 no. What shit is this? It's a decision, so he will get a lot of grief for that, and he's fine with that. Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Wow. No one achieved a task. <laughs> what could bring us back from that awful, awful tragedy? What? Oh, Greg, you know how you hate football? Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was absolutely brutal. Zero points all around. I feel so, so bad for Morgana on that. She was absolutely killing it. That is some high level taskmaster um, dick swinging. I don't know, we'll go with dick swinging. Oh, this is an infuriating episode. <laughs> Prevent Alex from scoring a goal. And the ball and goalpost must be on their spots when he does. Ugh. Wait, how long have I got? Oh, you wait. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully a reinvention of uh, that dreary game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised more football teams don't do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not bad, not bad. Oh, there are holes in it. That's okay, I think it's still pr a pretty fucking good idea. It's going straight through, isn't it? Oh, I just oh my God. <laughs> really? I mean, that was more of an own goal. Did Alex really score that? One of the great football tragedies of our time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you... Oh! Et voila! Alright, alright! This is gonna scupper me. 10.973 metres. There she goes. What maths are you trying to accomplish here, Morgana? I mean, Alan has got the idea right here. Oh. You got it? You got it there? Go, Alex! So wait, does Alex now get another shot from the red spot, or...? Oh, okay. I thought he was going to be able to, like, dribble, dribble it up and be like, Hey, hey, we're having a soccer game. Football game. What's going on here? <laughs> this is just getting out of hand. I mean, Morgana is keeping it real, but... What is going on with Alan? It's in. That went in? Oof. Oh my god! Outrageous, outrageous! That is fucking hilarious. Well done. That was great. Oh, Alex Horn getting his little moment to shine in this one. Having all the uh, answers. It largely was an exercise in metric conversion. <laughs> yeah, I don't get yards either. Uh, with Morgana, 10 minutes 45 altogether. So she was the slowest Ooh, so far. All right. How good are you at football? If there was nothing in the way, what are your chances? <laughs> Didn't say anything about the spot having not to move. Are you sure? Yeah, I guess it didn't, did it? There must be some kind of null and void situation going on here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck. If you score a goal from there, I'll give you a hundred pounds. Victoria, why are you making bets like that? He's just gonna chip it over and you're gonna be like, oh my god, how did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Guz, you may have cracked the code on this one. <laughs> How the hell did he do that? You can do that! You did it. Oh, wow. Now, Guz, you are left wide open. <laughs> oh, it's a good save. Alright, you might be up with a bit of a challenge. Yeah, Victoria.
You didn't even move. Nice goal. What happened with Victoria? She's not even standing in the way to try and deflect it. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> How did you do that? I knew she'd say that. <laughs> I should have stood in the goal, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yep. That was fucking hilarious. If you score a goal from there, I'll give you a hundred pounds. He doesn't yes. seem like someone who could do that. Well, if it had been a foot closer to the ball, I wouldn't have been able to. I didn't know the ball could go upwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Step to your right and... Never occurred to me. No, I know. Of course not. And I'd have been disappointed if you'd made an effort. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of actual time, Desiree Quickest goal, then Victoria, then Guz, then Alan, but Morgana was the slowest, so she wow. gets five points. Yeah, well done. Morgana is dominating this episode. A lot of balloons here. 100. Oh, God, what is this? If you pop one of the five bad balloons, you are disqualified. The eventual winner gets 10 actual points. Okay. So it's like a dart roulette kind of thing. Thanks for making Ten Alex obsolete. Actual points. Man, they are just throwing the points out on this episode. Whoever doesn't burst a bad balloon wins. I mean, with the exception of the, um, the ball task, Jesus. Points based on how many balloons they pop. <laughs> so we're going to go from... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Explain that again, Alex. Ooh, okay, all right, so it's elimination styles. Everyone else will get points based on how many balloons they pop. <laughs> but you get points based on how many balloons you pop. Three. Three good. Your rest. <laughs> oh, you oh. All right. Good start, good start. I've forgotten my glasses. Who's brave now? <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> it was a double pop, two. Okay. I can't wait to see Guz. <gasps> oh, Whoa! Shall I leave? Do stay in the studio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, it's Alan. All right, so at the end, she gets ranked on her th three points that she already got. This next one, and it's not a bad balloon, I'm going to use a phrase I've wanted to use on television for many years. All right, go on. <laughs> Lovely darts. <laughs> Guz is going to be launching these things. One good balloon. Seven. Guz is picking balloons out now, so it makes the shape of his face. <laughs> <laughs> He's leaving on eight. He's in the lead. Yeah. Ooh, nice work. I'm sort of in the mood of just closing my eyes and throwing. Goggles on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey! Three. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Morgana, you are a legend. Oh, oh, it's a bad balloon! Oh, dear. Oh. Guys in the lead with eight. It's this is a very fun and elaborate live task. It's a double. Woo. That is good. Well, that <laughs> did hit a camera. We're on four now. Four camera, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so long, Davies. Oh, he's oh, crashed it out. He's oh. oh. 20 26. Holy shit. This is madness. <laughs> <laughs> You're now on 24 balloons. Oh, and there's only two... Uh, Splody ones left in it. He's walking away. He's walking away. <laughs> oh. All right, Morgana, just start throwing. Okay, she stopped. So, guys, you're on twenty-four. Tactical. Oh. Okay. Whew. This is so goddamn intense. No! Is wow. absolutely <laughs> gut wrenching. <laughs> I love how she squats down like an athlete after a bad loss. Like, ah, oh, I gotta really regroup here. But the winner of 10 <laughs> whole points is Gus Khan. Took it. Ooh. I think that gets him the win then, doesn't it? Jeez, the points on this one is like the golden snitch. Been good. Victoria, yes, you should feel good. You've got 64 points. Oh. Which I almost brought in for my prize task. Balloon popping. Guzz in the lead with 83. Oh. 
I think Morgana's gonna get the win overall, though, for sure. This particular episode, Gus won with 21 points! Yeah, I bet he did. Half of those points he got at the end of the friggin' last thing. I've got you a little card just to... Oh, you can see it for yourself, just to say thank you. Yeah, and what's on the back of this card? As I look like a big human shrew. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> it's a it's a farty robe. Freshly laundered. <laughs> Freshly laundered. That was a great episode. The 100th episode, they definitely brought it hard. There was just so many um, unique things in this episode. But let's go through it. The uh, most elegant thing starting with G, everybody struggled with that one. Clearly everybody didn't know what the hell to do with that one, myself included. Um, sit on a cake, fastest wins. Love it. I love the simplicity of that task. And I love the fact that it's either... Do you go searching for the cake? Do you make one? I thought somebody would have got one delivered, but COVID times, maybe not. The team task, where they had to do the balls, that was brutal. Giving everybody nil poire on that one was a bit unnecessary, I think, Greg. So I'm sure Twitter is gonna be furious at that and uh, I can't wait to hear more about it. Uh, score a goal by Alex, I love it. Again, a very simple task, but a task that was just so many different options on how that could go and uh, I'm glad Morgana won it. I'm, I'm shocked that she won it to be honest and Victoria was also a highlight of that one there. She was just amazed at what she saw. And then of course the final one with the 100 balloons. That was so intense. I love it. I don't know who came up with the idea for that task but they deserve a pat on the back because that was so good for TV. It was so cinematic. It was so, like I say, intense. You've got the numbers. It's easy to follow. It was great. It was just like the perfect live task. And I know you can't have stuff like that every single week, but this one just hit perfectly. So they definitely celebrated 100 episodes in this one, even though it's episode five of um, season 10, even though it's episode five of season 12. But Great episode, Greg busting Alex's balls. Oh, Alex having all the cheats for the um, the soccer goal one. I think that was a bit of a celebration of Alex Horn, that task, personally. So overall, this was a very, very fun episode, and I think I am enjoying it more after seeing Victoria on Wilty and clips from the Morgana show, and Guz Khan talking about bleaching his sister's moustache blonde, and Alan Davies reminiscing about his dog summoning him to the drinking bowl to show him that there's a frog in there. It has definitely um, enhanced my enjoyment of this series. But let me know in the comments what you thought about this one. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already. And if you want full length versions and early access, patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can get that. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, ta-ta, farewell. Water is elegant. I am intelligent. Water is an element that rhymes with elegant. Element rhymes with elegant, but it also rhymes with elephant. An elegant elephant would be an experiment. Elegant! Elegant! Water!